Welcome to my EME7938 inquiry presentation. My name is Roberto Fonseca and today I will be discussing my research on enhancing student engagement in general classes of technical and vocational schools with a focus on the role of media production. In this inquiry, I will be focusing on the Center of Cinematography, Arts and Television, or CCAT, a technical film school that primarily serves bilingual students. The curriculum at CCAT is designed to provide students with specialized knowledge and skills in cinema and television production, with an emphasis on video editing. As an instructor with a background in film and television production, my role is to research innovative ways to incorporate technology for promoting student engagement and motivation, and ultimately support my students in achieving their goals. The target audience for this inquiry consists of a diverse group of bilingual students from countries such as Cuba, Venezuela, and the United States who are pursuing majors in video editing, film production, sound engineering, and cinematography. The problem I have identified is the lack of engagement among students in general required classes, such as math, humanities, social science, English, and Spanish at CCAT. Research has shown that student engagement is a crucial factor for academic achievement, with engaged students typically earning higher grades, attending classes more consistently, and persisting in their education. At CCAT, students tend to be more engaged in specialized classes aligned with the career goals and interests, such as camera operation, lighting, video editing, and film production, rather than the general classes. To address this issue, I propose implementing a module or instructional intervention that incorporates media production as a strategy for engagement in math classes. Media production can help make general required classes more engaging and relevant to students by including activities such as narrative presentations, animation, video performance, and fictionalized videos. This activity not only made the material more interactive and exciting for students, but also serve as a sensible tool to evaluate their understanding. The goal of this inquiry is to explore how media production can be used to improve engagement in non-major subjects at technical and vocational schools. In this inquiry, I aim to answer the following questions. How does integrating media production as a strategy for engagement compared to traditional methods in general classes of technical and vocational schools impact the student engagement among diverse learners? What's the impact of incorporating media production as an engagement strategy compared to traditional methods on diverse learners' self-perceptions of engagement in technical and vocational schools? And how does integrating media production as a strategy for engagement impact the student performance and the quality of work in general classes of technical and vocational schools among diverse learners? In this study, I initial plan to use four data collection strategies to examine the impact of media production on a student engagement in math class. These strategies included student surveys, observation and field notes, student artifacts, and online discussions. However, after beginning implementation, I said that the online discussion method was collecting similar information to what was already being gathered through observation and field notes. Additionally, I noticed that the online discussion was disrupting the proper flow of the module implementation. As a result, I decided to dismiss the online discussion data collection method in the second wing of the implementation. Instead, I chose to focus on the remaining three strategies for more streamlined and effective data collection process. In order to measure changes in student engagement and motivation, I administered student surveys both before and after the implementation of the media production model using the Solver Mocking platform. These surveys assess various aspects of student engagement such as participation, perceived material relevance, and student experience with media production. Additionally, the surveys collected demographic data, allowing for the analysis of any discrepancies in engagement between different student groups. After completing the media production module, students were surveyed again to assess their motivation, interest, and engagement level during the module, as well as their understanding of the math comes discovered and their confidence in their math abilities. The survey also collected data on students' experiences with media production after completing the module, their perception of its effectiveness, and a comparison with traditional methods of teaching math. The data gathered from the survey helps assess the impact of media production on diverse learners' self-perception of engagement, the potential improvement in student performance and quality of work, and the effectiveness of media production as an engagement strategy compared to traditional methods. To facilitate the analysis of the survey data, the responses were documented in an Excel spreadsheet, enabling the efficient examination of any patterns or trends among different student groups. 
during the media production module lessons, I made observations and field notes to document student behavior, participation, and interaction with the media production module, relating this data to the research questions. A structured observation protocol was used to ensure consistency in the data collection process. I assessed various aspects of student engagement, such as participation, media usage, interactions, and questions and comments, providing valuable insights into the impact of the media production model on student involvement. To establish a comparison, observation and field notes were also taken a week before the model implementation. This baseline data helped in understanding the difference in student engagement between traditional teaching methods and the media production model. Some observed behaviors and occurrences were numerically documented to facilitate quantitative analysis, allowing for a better evaluation of the media production model's impact on diverse learners' engagement, self-perception, and potential improvement in the quality of work. I collected student artifacts, such as videos and animated presentations, as tangible evidence of student engagement, understanding, and creativity. These artifacts demonstrated the students' involvement with the media production model and the grasp of the math topic cover. To ensure consistency in the data collection process, I provided the students specific guidelines and goals for the media production activity. The students were given a choice of topics related to the math topic cover in the module and they were required to produce a video or animated presentation on that topic. I used a rubric to evaluate the artifacts, ensuring objectivity and consistency in the evaluation process. The rubric was based on a specific criteria that aligned with the detailed research question about improvement in performance and quality of work, including the categories of clarity of content, quality of production, creativity and relevance. The evaluation results were documented in an Excel spreadsheet to facilitate the analysis of the student's performance and quality of work. In this study, I employed various data analysis strategies to examine the impact of the media production module on student engagement in math classes. My data sources included surveys, observation and field notes, and student artifacts. The first data analysis method I used was frequency analysis, in which I utilized Excel spreadsheet formulas for quantitative data analysis. I quantify occurrences of different behaviors and responses, focusing on student participation, quality of work, and engagement during discussion. This analysis was applied to data from student surveys, observations, and artifacts. The second data analysis method I used was change in number analysis. I also used a cell spreadsheet formula for quantitative data analysis to compare pre- and post-instructional activity survey data. By calculating means, standard deviations, and mode, I determined difference in student engagement. Lastly, my third data analysis method was quality data analysis. I coded and summarized test responses from open-ended questions for quality data analysis. This process helped me identify common things and patterns in student behavior and responses from observations and student surveys. By organizing these things into categories, I gained a better understanding of the impact of the media production model on student engagement. Here are the key findings from the frequency analysis of student surveys. The results indicate that after participating in the media production model, students reported positive changes in their motivation, interest, participation, understanding, and confidence in math. The perception of media production as a helpful tool for learning math also experienced a positive increase, indicating that students recognize the value of integrating media production into their math education. Notably, students' familiarity with the specific math topic covering the media production model saw a significant increase. This suggests that the media production model was successful in helping students understand and engage with the math concept more effectively. Now, I want to show you the findings from the shiny number analysis of student surveys. The results indicate that after participating in the media production model, students reported positive changes in their motivation, interest, understanding, and confidence in math. Specifically, the analysis revealed higher motivation and interest level in math reported during the media production model. Additionally, students reported increases understanding of math concepts and higher confidence in their math ability after completing the model. The standard deviation for these measures also show improvement, suggesting a reduction in variability in student responses. Furthermore, a student perception of media production as a helpful tool for learning improved after the media production model. This suggests that students recognize the value of integrating media production into their math education. Regarding the qualitative analysis of the student surveys, initially, most students had positive expectations regarding the model's potential impact on their engagement and learning. After implementation, the majority reported a positive impact on their engagement and understanding of math concepts. 
However, some students found the model distracting or failed. It added unnecessary complexity, while others reported no significant impact. Furthermore, the results from questions 10 of the pre- and post-activity survey show that before participating in the model, students were either excited or nervous about the experience. Afterward, some students preferred the media production model over traditional teaching methods, citing increased engagement and relevance. Many students did not have a strong preference or had mixed feelings about the two teaching methods, with some appreciating the effort but still struggling with math. A few students preferred traditional teaching methods due to a desire for more structure in their learning. Here is the frequency analysis from other data sources, the observation and field notes. The graphic displays the trends in student participation, questions asked, comments made, and interactions during each week of the module. The data reveals that the number of participating students increased significantly during the first week of the media production model, with a sharp rise from the previous week. However, the number of participating students remained relatively stable in the second and third weeks. The number of students asking questions and making comments increased from the first to the second week of the module, but decreased in the third week. In contrast, the number of interaction among students increased from the second to the third week. Overall, the findings suggest that the media production module was successful in increasing student engagement and participation. Now, let me share some key findings regarding qualitative data of the observations. The majority of students were actively engaged during the model's implementation, while some remained indifferent. The introduction of various forms of media provided students with diverse ways to understand mathematical concepts, which facilitated better understanding for most. The model fostered a collaborative learning environment, where students actively engage in conversation. Although some students did not contribute much to group discussions, many students found the media production model interesting and enjoyable, but it may not have been equally effective for all. Analysis of student artifacts demonstrated that students could effectively use media to communicate their understanding of mathematical concepts and showcase creativity and relevance. During the first week, a general sense of apathy and indifference was observed among the students. However, in subsequent weeks, there was a noticeable increase in student engagement levels, though some students continued to exhibit indifference and limited participation. Lastly, the analysis of frequency and results of student artifacts. After analyzing the grades based on four criteria of the rubric, here are the main findings. Regarding clarity of content, students demonstrated a solid to outstanding understanding of the math topic cover with only a few producing content that was unclear worthy or inaccurate. Quality of production showed a range of grade, with a significant number of students producing videos with adequate lighting, sound, and production values. Some students demonstrated exceptional production quality, while others fell short in terms of quality. In terms of creativity, the students generally show evidence of initiative and ownership in the production process, with many producing creative and engaging videos. However, there were some videos that they were unoriginal, lacking in creativity and student initiative. In terms of relevance, students mostly demonstrated an ability to connect the math topic to real-world situations. However, some videos did not effectively demonstrate this connection, showing that there is room for improvement in this area. Overall, the rubric allowed me to assess the improvement in quality and performance of the students.